Hey guys, down here on Uncle Toby, put in here at Lewiston. Got my wife with me. We'll go out here and do a little crappie fishing. Time for another uh, crappie meal. But uh, we'll go out here for three, four hours, see what we can do. And uh, you guys like to ride along and uh, let's see how we can catch them today. I like to do locks first and uh, hopefully the wind is not going to be too bad. It's a little windy. But we're going to give it a shot, you guys. Let's go fishing. Alright guys, it's got the first one. Question is, is it a keeper? Had been crappie fishing over in this area, checking out. Whoops, get my pole out of the camera there guys. That should be a keeper. Been throwing some chartreuse, hadn't been bit. Picked up that white one. Caught a good little fish. <clears throat> Let's see if he's gonna go in this box or not. Oh yeah, he's almost 12. Let's throw him in that side there, girly. Make sure water's going in there. Mm. All right guys, it's number one. Try and catch us a message for dinner tonight. We'll keep on fishing, guys. Got one? Okay. Oh, oh my God. Get him over it, baby. Oh yeah. That's a good one, man. Right? Look at that guy. She just caught a giant. A big old toad. Alright guys. I got it over there and it's a giant. Good it's job, my baby. It's my first giant crappie. I can't see the screen. Oh I see it. Okay. <laughs> it's filming. Good one, hon. I thought I get stuck. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then when I saw it's like jumping. Yeah. So look at that. That's a big one, guys. That's a real big one. Yeah. Good job, baby. You gonna catch some more? Let's get them. I will put it right here. Oh yeah. Water is already right. full there. Good job, baby. <laughs> Got another one? Oh my God! Get him in here, honey. Get him in here. All right. Good job. Good job, baby. <laughs> Good job, baby. She just got another one, you guys, right out of that same hole. I put it back there, and then I thought I was stuck again, but it's peace. Good Number job. three. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good job, girl. <laughs>
another good one guys we're out here in the middle of the day like i said we're just uh scouting around some buddies of mine have been catching them over here i got a buddy of mine over here fishing he's done caught about four over there and uh and hit it real good right there which most of them do down here you guys you know crappie fishing is fun down here i'll be down here through pretty much the end of march if you want to do a guide trip down here come on down here it's 25 a piece a day's the limit 10 inch size limit good good thick fish that's a good fish always double check them i know it's a keeper but almost 12 inches again guys good slab Crappie fishing, guys. Crappie fishing. Good job, baby. Mm. Another one, guys. Another one. You should have caught that one there, baby. I gave you that spot. I gave you that spot. I think I read it. Oh, you could. Hang on. You see. Mm. Hang on. You see, there's another one. times guys you gonna get back in there because you can catch another you know get three or four out of one little spot yeah, that's no good little keeper fish right there you guys it's real simple we got some new loose poles out here it's keeper some wally marshall's crappie sticks and we'll kind of go over a cover and stuff after a while and uh, just using 10 pound cigar braid and uh Mainly just a white white crappie jig. All right, guys, we're gonna put him in live well. That's five so far. All right, Donna's got another good one, guys. Fishing out the back of the boat, she's almost caught up with me. Maybe you have caught up with me, have you? Yeah, yeah. Three yeah. versus three. Three, three and three, you guys. He ate it good, didn't he? Yeah. Uh-oh. Pretty crappie. Here you go. Right. Good job, babe. My number three. <laughs> All right. So, we got Way six go. right now. All right, guys, we just got a double right here. Donna got one, I got one. Here's the shy of a keeper. It's actually the first non-keeper we caught today. But uh, another good slab. All right, so I'm in the box, babe. Just like yours. Okay, I'll get it. You ready? <clears throat> number eight. And this is number nine, guys, but it's not a keeper. Hit it lighter than any of them's hit it all day. <clears throat> nice slab. It's kind of we like to catch right there, guys. 
That's a good thick fish. See that right there? Pretty old girl. All right, y'all. We got this little mess already. We're gonna fish a little bit longer, and uh, I'm gonna go in and clean these fish, and uh, I got some guide trips tomorrow and the next day. But we got done what we was wanting to do. I'm telling you guys down here on your own, or if you want to do a trip, I, you can book through me, scottpattonfishing.com, or if you want to come down and catch them, it's not that hard, you guys. Uh, you know, finding the location and stuff like that, and understanding how to catch them down here really help. But uh, catch some big old crappie down here, guys. Right back in the same hole. That's why you catch one, you always put it back in there. Another good slab. Another good slab. You know, you guys, it is 1.30. Middle of the day and we're catching these guys. You know, around uh, daylight and dark is usually the best. Like I said, really another good crappie. Open that box. Let me try to get another one in there. I didn't even move the bowl, got three really nice slabs. Middle of the day, them fish are tight in that cover, but that is definitely the way we like to catch them right there. Those are good eating fish right there, guys. And I'm telling you what, they are a blast to catch. I just love it. They hit so hard. I mean, it's a, just a beautiful, beautiful crappie. Okeechobee is full of these guys. It ain't just a bass fishing lake, you guys. It's not just a bass fishing lake. It's an awesome bass fishing lake, but it's also an awesome crappie lake, too. Hey, all right, guys. I just want to kind of give you a rundown of the rod and reel setup I got, the line and the jig we're using here. Uh, when you come down here, you know, at home, Tennessee and stuff, a lot of times we'll cast on a little spinning reel and stuff like that. Down here, it's all jig pulling. And uh, what I've got here is a uh, Wally Marshall Pro Target. I actually just got this one right here. It's for the first day I've used it. I really like it. It's a 12 footer. I like a 12 footer. 12, 10 footers are really good too. Sometimes it's hard for people who've not done it very much to operate a 12 footer, getting it in there and stuff like that because there's so much cover up on the shoreline. But uh, so a 10 footer is a great uh, starter rod. And a lot of guys I know that's what they use all the time. Um, I just like that 12 because I can reach out in some of them further holes, especially if you're fishing um, behind a lot of guys and stuff like that. And you know, you're definitely going to do that in some places on the lake. But um, I'm using t this is a 12 pound, I mean, a 10 pound Seaguar braid line, the high vis green. I like to be able to try, you know, to see my line. I've got a just a little white jig tied on here. He's about to chew this one all up. Hook's been bent out. Straighten that thing back up. It's just a little white and jigs. Got a little bit of pink on it. That's a real good color down here. Whites, you know, uh, a lot of guys throw different colors and stuff like that. We're in pretty stained water over here where we're at today. I've, I've done good with it, even in the stained water. So, uh, you know, I, it's just a good all around color. You know, our buddy over there, Jerry, he's been fishing today with men is on his jig. He's caught several too and uh, we're gonna go up and clean these things here pretty soon but i just will kind of we'll have a picture of this jig for you guys and you're just kind of just dropping it in there guys you know you know a foot a uh, foot and a half deep holding it there holding it steady and you're gonna pick up that rod and, and then lower it. it don't take a whole lot of action you can overfish these little jigs and they'll, they'll just thump it it's real hard thump and you just sling them in a the boat but uh it's a fun way to catch them you guys you know i use my loose uh wally marshall rods 10 and 12 footers but uh, 
you know, like I said, if you guys can come out here and do some crappie fishing on your own here in Florida, it's not just Okeechobee, but a lot of lakes on it in Florida, you can catch these big crappie. Um, but anyways, you guys, I appreciate it. If you would subscribe for me, it helps me out a lot. I'm going to try to, you know, of course, I'll try to get this information out to you guys, help you catch fish. And again, if you want to book a trip, you know, uh, you know, my information is going to be attached here below. And one other thing I want to tell you too, you know, I use this high vis line, and I do this a lot down here in Florida. But I got me a Sharpie, and what I'll do is I'll just color, I cut a little slit in the end of that Sharpie, and I'll color that line about a foot. You can kind of measure, I usually try to measure about a foot and a half, and that way when that line gets down there, I know I'm about the depth that I usually want to fish, because I got the marker where it makes it more invisible, and then I can see my high vis line right there, you guys. So uh, you can see the difference in that right there. But anyways, uh, hopefully these tips will help you out. You guys, good fishing to you. I'm down here in Clewiston until the end of uh, March. Now I'll be back on Chickamauga. But uh, I'm going to fish a little bit longer, and then we're going to go in and clean this mess of fish, you guys. I appreciate you watching today, and uh, we'll see you next time. Good fishing to you.